Okay, I think the plan to invest uh, 2.2 trillion baht on the infrastructure development program is uh, proceeding according to schedule. I think the Ministry of Finance is working on the, the draft, uh, the legal related document. I think the key it should be what projects to be included in this plan because I think I would like to stress that this is a real change, big change for the country. It's a big improvement. It's not a stimulus package. It's real infrastructure development. So we need to select the proper projects that should be included in this plan. The project should uh, really improve our infrastructure, which we target the logistic, logistic cost to reduce it. But about right now, it's about 15% of the GDP. Hopefully, we can reduce it to 30% of the GDP. The key issue will be to do motor shift. Right now, we depend largely on road transport, like 86% of freight. We're using truck, only 2% by train. So hopefully we can do motor shift to train and to water. We can reduce logistic costs significantly. So I think that's the, the key thing. Also, the infrastructure development needs to be done. Because I think right now we have neglect many areas, road deterioration, railway, port, airport. Airport will be to capacity at the moment. So we need improvement on airport capacity, Lanchabang port capacity, because so we see lots of growth in the near future. Yeah, so I think that, that's the key message. What, what, what would be uh, the key uh, success factor of this plan? I think the key success factor, not money, you might be surprised, people. I think the only thing that can make this plan successful is if we have the right people, the right mindset, the right attitude. So, that, so I think that's the, the key message, that we have to prepare our people to carry on this important task. So what worried me most would be the SRT, State Railway of Thailand, which we have neglected them for a long time. We haven't put lots of investment in them for the last 10 years. So if we prepare to spend lots of budget on them, we hope that they are ready to implement the plan. So right now we have to focus on restructuring of the State Railway of Thailand, improving their mindset, their strength, and their capacity to, to carry on the project. It seems the plan that is essential to uh, boost competitiveness of Thailand yeah. uh, after the AEC. Yeah. Uh, what, what about uh, Tawai project? Uh, how it fits in uh, the picture? Okay, Tawai is a, a key project for, for the region, not only for Thailand or for Myanmar, but if you see the connectivity of Tawai from the west through Myanmar, Thailand, and you can go up north to Laos and to China, to the east, to Cambodia, Vietnam, and the Wang Tao port. So it provides a perfect east-west corridor, or the southern economic corridor, even north-south corridor. So the Y will play a major role in the future, not in one or two years. We have to look at 10, 20 years. So I think right now, Thailand and Myanmar has agreed on the MOU, on the technical assistance. So Thailand government will provide expertise on our side, because we have done Eastern Seaboard successfully. We have a lot of experience on port, on road, concession of the road, and uh, industrial estate. So we use our team to help Myanmar on developing the concept, developing the master plan. And hopefully with the cooperation of the two countries, the project will become materialized and give confidence to all the investors. So I think mainly will be investors from around the world, maybe from Myanmar, from Thailand, from Japan, and put all the money to invest after they see the importance and the supporting of the two countries. Thank you. Thank you.